with Chrissy Metz, and joining us is her co-author and boyfriend, Bradley Collins. Oh, thank you. Bradley! Okay, so I'm so happy to hear this, because this never happened to me. You guys have been together for two years, and you met on a dating app. We You're met, story. middle of pandemic, we met on, on Bumble. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It works. We, Did, bo we both swiped right. You both <laughs> swiped right. Yeah. It worked for you, because I didn't, everybody I had, it, it did not work on me. So it, I got ghosted. They didn't have a job. That's hard it, to I didn't right. know how okay. prisoners could be on Bumble, first of all. <laughs> so they can. <laughs> um, but also, you do have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find uh, a prince. So I went through that too. Okay. Yes. And then it just worked out. Well, we happened to be in Nashville at the same time during the pandemic. I was about to go on tour, and Bradley's from there, and he's a songwriter, and we had the same friends. But I was like, nobody introduced me to Bradley? No, not, not one person. <laughs> so I had to find him myself. So luckily, luckily, I mean, no. I, did I have to wait a month for him to call me and ask for my phone number? First of all, yes. why did it take you? That's what I want to know, Bradley. Why did it take I'm you a month? I'm still giving him grief. I'm so bad. I gotta give him grief. <laughs> like, this is an amazing woman. Why take you a month? This to question ask comes me? up all the time. Well, I wanted to get to know her. I knew who she was. I saw her on Entourage. Okay. And I made a middle note. I'm like, who is that girl? Oh. And I was like, all right, she's doing well. She's an actor. She's acting. Then I saw her on This Is Us. I'm like, okay, she's doing great now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's doing so well. And then I'm like, there she is. And I, and I swiped right, and she swiped right, and it took a month, because I wanted to get to know her. Uh-huh. Imagine you know? you're on the TV Imagine show. Imagine that. Yes. I wanted to get to know her. I, I thought I knew who she was, but... So, so yeah. much more than who you see on TV. Exactly. Right. But you know, it's this is so funny because you're here. It was Valentine's week this week. Yes. So, Bradley, are you a romantic person? Yes. Yes, I am. very. I am. Yeah. He loves to surprise me with delicious, like, presents, and oh. he's a great planner. I am not. Okay. So we, so we had to fly back home to L.A. on Valentine's Day. Right. So we were in, in New York, and we, uh, I had surprised her with some roses. Yes. Aww. In the hotel room. That was a and... surprise, honestly, which I, I was very surprised about. I don't Aww. think, it's not always easy to surprise people. Yes. And first of all, how do people deliver flowers in New York City? I know. That was a feat in itself. Thank you got on that moped. Thank you, concierge. Yeah, thank I'm telling you. <laughs> well, I let you, you, because I was like, well, okay, who is Bradley? What did he do? You were a music executive. I was. And you quit your job recently because you wanted to become a full-time songwriter. So you I, stepped out on faith. I did. I was sitting on my couch in the middle of a pandemic, like we all were, and just, <laughs> terrified. Yeah. Like, what is it, what is going to be next for me? And I was like, what is the most scary thing I could do? And it was writing songs. And mm. I ran right towards it and go along with this book. We have an album coming out called Prayed for This Day. Uh, Chrissy and I co-wrote all um, 10 songs with our, with our friend Phil Barton. Yeah. And uh, it's a really special album to, to complete the book. Well, I like the fact that you both, <laughs> yes, and then, talking about working together, congratulations on your book, and it's called When I Talk to God, I Talk About You. Yeah. So can you tell us about this book? I already, I love the title. Yeah, we, when we first got together, of course, we talked a lot before we actually went on our first pandemic date, but we talked a lot, and you get to know each other, and we had time to get to know each other. And right. So prayer was always really important in my life, and also bolstering you know, young minds and hearts with like self-esteem and self-confidence and yes. encouragement was always really important, and something that I think we know that follows us through into our adulthood, and so we wanted to impart that on young readers oh through the book. Oh my gosh, yeah. yes. I just want to say, th and you got an album coming out that compliments. Yes, right. prayed for this day. L L Lisa Fields, who did all the illustrations on the book, she just did an amazing job, also did the album cover. Yes. So. I. I just, I love the title, and I love that it inspires, and I love YouTube. It makes me want to get back on Bumble. I yes, <laughs> I might just try Somebody it again. Somebody be very lucky to get you. Okay, I, I might do the swiping again. Okay. Chrissy and Bradley, I want to say thank you both thank for you. being thank here. Thank you for having us. us. Their thank book, you. When I Talk to God, I Talk About You, is out now. Go to SherryShowTV.com for your chance to win an autograph copy. And studio audience, you are all getting a copy of Bradley and Chrissy's book.